Hey everybody, good morning. This is Chandra Davis here. It's Tuesday morning, so happy Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> uh, I hope you are having a great day on purpose, amen. And so listen, um, this, like I said, this is Chandra Davis here, just getting on here really quickly to give you your five-minute words of encouragement of how I feel like God wants me to encourage you on today, amen. And so today, uh, I just wanted to share with you that we are to stay hidden in him. Amen. Listen, we are hidden in God. We are uh, hidden under his covering, under his wings. We have access to the father because of the blood covering of Jesus. Amen. And so I just want to encourage you to stay hidden in him. Amen. The Bible says, blessed is the man whose sins are covered. The blood of Jesus covers us to stay hidden. It covers us to keep us safe. Amen. It's so important, you know, that we are blessed with uh, repentance. Repentance is twofold. We say we're sorry, but then we turn away. We turn around for whatever it is that we're doing. Do you know that blessed is the man whose sins are covered? Uh, there is a consequence for sin. Amen. But God said that he would be with us. The Bible, God said, listen, he said, I will not be mine. Whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. We reap what we sow, whether it's good or rather it's bad. There is consequence for sin, but there is mercy and there's grace. Thank God for the mercy seat. Because of the blood of Jesus, There's our mercies are new every day for us and our grace is new every day for us. And so we thank God for that. We want to stay hidden. Listen, sometimes if some doors are shut or God redirects our paths or some things are uh, diverted or redirected, we need to thank God for what he kept us from because we have to stay hidden in him. If God is hiding us in a certain season, in a certain place, listen, stay put. Amen. Because it's so important that he said, I know the plans and the thoughts that I have for you to give you a hope, a future and an expected end. Amen. He said, the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy, but I've come to give you life and that life more abundantly. So he knows the plans he has for us. He knows the expected end that he has for us to give us a hope and a future, to give us an abundant life. He said, your steps are already ordered. He said, the steps of a good man are ordered and he delights in our way. So we have to be good followers and good listeners and we have to stay hidden. If God hides you, stay put. Amen. Stay hidden. Just got to hear really quickly to remind you to stay hidden in him. That's where your covering is. That's where your safety is. That's where your prosperity is. That's where your joy, your peace, everything that God has for you is in a place where he is directing you. So stay hidden in him. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't be sad for closed doors. Don't be, don't, don't be upset about diversions. If he diverts you and, and switches you to a different direction, because as long as you are hidden in him, you are in a good place. How do you stay hidden in him? It all starts with Jesus. You have to first accept him in your heart as your Lord and your Savior. Believe in your heart that he died as, as, as uh, on the cross for your sins. Amen. And was raised on the third day. And then you have to confess him as Lord. It's so important that we have to, he has to be our Lord and our Savior. When we give someone lordship, we give them rule over our life. Meaning we surrender. We surrender our will. We surrender our emotions, our way. We surrender what we want to do in life and we give it to him. And he leads us and he guides us. That way we can stay hidden. Even when he leads us in places that we don't want to go, even if he leads us in directions that we don't want to go, we follow anyway when we make him our Lord. Amen. We become living sacrifices. Listen, maybe you've never done that. We invite you to do that now. Maybe you've done that and you've picked up your own life back again and you decided to take your life back up. You didn't like the way it was going. And listen, and but you've come to a place of repentance. You're ready to not only ask God for forgiveness, but to turn around and to go back to following him. We invite you to do that now. God said he's married to the backslider. He loves you with an unfailing love. You understand what I'm saying? If you can Confess your sins that he's faithful and he's just to forgive you. Not only forgive you, but cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Do you know that God can use every experience that you've ever had if you surrender it to him? If you surrender the things that you've been through through him, he will redeem the time and use you and use those experiences. Amen. Don't you know, oftentimes the things that we've been through become our testimonies. They become the things that qualify us for our anointing. The things that the world say don't qualify us, God says qualifies us. And it qualifies and authenticates the anointing that he puts on us. It becomes the cost and the price of our oil because we walk against the grain and we, we walk hidden and covered under the blood of Jesus. Amen. Listen, everybody just got on her really quickly 
to share with you, to remind you to stay hidden in God. That's where your safety is. Listen, maybe you don't know how to do that. Maybe the Bible says that one can put a thousand to flight, two, ten thousand. Sometimes we just need someone to agree with us. We would love to do that with you. Connect with us here. I'm Chandra Davis. My husband's Anthony Davis. We're senior leaders at Kingdom Awakening Church. We meet on Sundays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we meet on, uh, we pray on Tuesdays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Zoom and in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Amen. And so we would love to connect with you. Connect with us. Like us here, Davis Tips for Daily Living. Follow us. Uh, look out for our life coaching, Davis Tips 365. We would love to walk with you and show you how you stay hidden. That's where you'll be safe. That's where you'll have joy. That's where you'll have peace. That's where you'll find your prosperity in the abundant life that God has for you when you stay hidden in him. Just got on here really quickly to share with you to stay hidden. If you know someone that's out there that's lost, that's bruised, that's battered, that needs healing, they just need to get hidden under the blood covering because blessed is the man whose sins are covered. Share this video with them. Amen. Listen, we love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Make it a great one on purpose.